What's up, YouTube? Robbie Vapes back again, and today we got ourselves a little juice testing courtesy of the Cloud Kitchen. So stay tuned. That's right, YouTube. Today we have a juice review for you guys. Now, like I've said before, what I'm going to be doing in future juice reviews is not focusing on whether or not I like the juice because that's all subjective, but instead I'm going to be focusing on the flavors themselves and the description of the juice. Just trying to see how well it matches up and you know what I'm tasting from it and things like that just to avoid personal opinion. I won't be saying whether or not I like a juice anymore because well, like I said, it's all subjective. So what I'll do is try and describe the taste as well as I can to you, the viewers, and you can make up your mind on whether or not you like it or how it sounds to you guys. So with that being said guys, I'm just going to take one out at random and it looks like the first one up is Creamy Cuke is the first one up. So I'm sure we can imagine at least a little bit of what's going to be in that one. Creamy cuke. Let's see here. We'll drip a little bit on our nice little fuse clapton coils we got here. Drip that on. Maybe do a smell test. Uh, actually, it smells very different. It smells almost like a Greek cucumbery yogurt, um, which it, I'm not actually opposed to. Kind of like a tzatziki sauce or something like that, which sounds really weird in a vape, but that's what I'm kind of smelling from it. Let's see what it actually tastes like, and then we'll read the descri description to see just how much of a how, how closely they actually relate. I have the descriptions up here as well already, so I am cheating a little bit, but we'll see how it tastes. It's different. I can honestly say I've never had anything this different before in an e-juice. It does has, have that creamy cucumber taste to it, and then on the back of the exhale, I'm tasting a little bit of almost like a mint, uh, very light mint, but almost like a, uh, not like a mint gum, but more like the mint, like the plant almost, if that makes any sense. That's what I'm kind of tasting from it. So it's definitely a very different combination, very complex. I, I, I would have never guessed creamy cucumber would work, would, would have worked. But in this case, uh, I think they did a really good job of balancing that. Again, I'm trying not to put my personal opinion on the matter, but I'll, I'll read out the description and see what it says. Creamy cucumber mint yogurt, a mix of mint, cucumber, and yogurt that is always cool and refreshingly creamy. I can definitely say that the flavors I'm getting are matching that description bang on. And even by the smell test I did, it does smell like that kind of Greek yogurt mix to it. You definitely smell a cucumber, you definitely smell a little bit of a cream to it, but you also smell a bit of a yogurt sense to it as well. And that's kind of what you get out of this vape. It's a, it's a creamy yogurt cucumbery, slightly minty vape. Not strong mint, just a little bit of a back hit on it. Uh, leaves a little bit of a mint aftertaste in your mouth, which, uh, yeah, I mean, you decide whether it's something you like or not. I'm gonna take one more hit off this, and I'll move on to the next one. And we're back, we now have, I picked another random one out, and this one is Smoky Cineplume, or Cineplum, I guess, maybe that makes sense. Um, I already cheated and read the description on this one because I wasn't sure what to expect. The description is sweet, smooth, and smoky. So it really didn't give me much to go off of, but uh, we'll see what I taste and see if I can pick up some flavors for you guys. With that being said, let's take a hit. So this is definitely a cinnamon I'm not really used to finding in vapes as well. This is again something completely different than what I'm used to. There's a bit of cinnamon in there, but it's almost like a cinnamon heart. If you've ever had those little cinnamon heart candies, that's what it tastes like a lot, but with a little bit of a sweetness added to it, which is kind of nice. So it's got that that cinnamon heart kind of harsh cinnamon, I guess, if, if that makes sense. Not in a bad way, just it's got that harder cinnamon hit to it, but then it's got that little sweetness to bring it in and kind of make it a little bit more subtle. Together, I mean, you be the judge whether that flavor applies to you or not. I'll take one more hit and then we'll move on to the next one. All right guys, we've dripped the next one in here now, and this is the pear, I'm gonna butcher this name, I'm so sorry, pear horchata ginger. I'll have it down below in the uh, in a little kind of comment box or whatever, or a lower third down below just to describe it in case I'm butchering the name, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's what it is. I'll take a hit and I'll read the description afterwards and see what it tastes like.
definitely getting pear from it, but it's it's a very mixed pear. It's actually very well balanced between a pear and ginger itself. So it, it, it has this really odd, familiar feeling to it, but also so different at the same time. It's like a fresh ginger. The only way I can describe it is what you get in like a sushi when you get the ginger to chase off, you know, the, the flavors or the, uh, as a palate cleanser. That's kind of what I'm tasting from that, but it also has a bit of a pear taste to it as well. I'm not sure what else is in there. I don't know what horchata is supposed to be. Uh, I'll read the description and see what it says. It is a, a light natural pear note with a hint of vanilla spice and fresh ginger. I didn't get much vanilla from it. I got a lot of the pear and ginger together and that's pretty much what I was getting from it. So again, if it's something that interests you, I mean, these are definitely very complex and different flavors. These are not traditional by any means and whether or not that's something you want, I mean, that's up to you. Uh, maybe I'll give my opinion at the end of this segment or at the end of this video just to give you my thoughts on this, but it's very different to say the least and the pear and the ginger together, it's kind of like this sweet ginger taste, almost like a, no, it's, it's not quite like a ginger ale. It's definitely a little bit more gingery than a ginger ale, but it's also a little bit more sweet with a pear in there as well. So I'll take one more hit off this and I'll move on to the next one. All right, guys, the next one up is London Fog, and I cheated again a little bit to see what the description was because I was curious. Maybe it was a tobacco vape or whatever. It's not. What it is, it's a vanilla latte steeped in Earl Grey with a shot of espresso. So it will have a little bit of a coffee hint to it. It'll have that kind of refreshing latte, vanilla -y taste to it. And uh, the Earl Grey tea will give it a little bit of a fruit flavor almost. Um, then again, I don't drink tea much, so I could be butchering that as well. I don't know. Uh, let's take a hit and see what I experience. So on the inhale, I'm getting a lot more of the Earl Grey vanilla latte flavor. On the exhale, I'm getting a little bit more of a stronger coffee taste, which I'm guessing is the espresso. Definitely a bit stronger. Um, the inhale is very light and, and I wouldn't say creamy, but definitely has a hint of vanilla to it. So there is a difference. It's not creamy, but it has that vanilla hint to it with that Earl Grey mixture in it, which again, to me, tastes like fruit, um, more specifically like Fruit Loops. Just saying, I don't know if I'm right or not. I've always thought that Earl Grey tastes a little bit like Fruit Loops, like a breakfast cereal. I'm getting that with a little bit of vanilla and then I like said on the exhale, you're getting that little bit of espresso taste to it just to make it a little bit stronger. And take one more hit and we'll move on to the next one. All right guys, just drip the next one and this one is called Kamikaze. Now I've cheated again and read the description, but I don't think that's gonna help me much because there's a bunch of words in here I don't have a fucking clue about. Uh, these are definitely some complex ingredients here. So let's just get into what it is. Uh, it's a fresh mix of green matcha tea, or matcha tea, anise, anise, and ripe plum. Okay, I know what, I know what ripe plum is, so we're good there. But uh, let's see what it tastes like and see if I can even bring anything to words based on what the description is saying. Okay, so what I'm getting from this, I could be way off. I don't know, this is just what my taste buds are telling me. I'm getting more of a sweet flower taste, and I don't mean perfumey. It's not perfumey, it's a sweet nectary taste, I guess. That's, that's probably a better word. It's a sweet nectar taste with a little bit of the plum kind of on, sitting on the back end, and it kind of sits in the back end throughout the entire vape. It's never really overly prevalent. It's just kind of always there in the back. Uh, the tea... You know, I'm kind of maybe getting a little bit of that, a little bit of that kind of a, a really raw tea taste, if that makes any sense. Like a super strong tea taste, but it is covered up really nicely with that nectar, sweet nectar taste I'm getting. And then it's all kind of covered in the background with that, or it, it also has the background note of that plum, which is kind of just stays there in the background. You know, it doesn't, it kind of sits with you. It's, it's definitely there. You notice it, but you have to kind of look hard to notice it, if that makes sense. Um, so yes, that was kamikaze. That was definitely different and so far all these flavors are different and It looks like that is it. So we have the four flavors kamikaze creamy cucumber uh, Oh, no, sorry. We have five flavors. I, I did go over all five of them. So kamikaze creamy cucumber 
Paracor Shotta Ginger, London Smog, and Smoky Cineplum, or Cineplume. And I guess I can go over my own opinion on it. Really, it's irrelevant, guys. Don't take my word for it. You know, try it for yourself. See if it's something you like. But the one thing I'm getting from all these flavors is just the complexity of them. They're different. They're super different than anything else out there. You're not going to find this anywhere else as far as I'm concerned. Out of the five, my favorite. There's a couple I actually didn't mind. Um, but I think my favorite is the uh, Creamy Cuke. Uh, which is, again, that kind of Greek yogurt tzatziki type taste, which shouldn't work in a vape, but I'm oddly enjoying it a lot more than I expected to. And it's just that really different taste. Now, part of that for me, if you don't know this already, I get really bad vape tongue a lot. And for me, a lot of flavors die out really quickly. I can see myself with these ones using them almost as a palate cleanser. And not to mention, even the ones that will be all day vapes, um, I just see myself as never really getting vape tongue from them because they're so different. And I think that's my problem is I've, I've stuck to the same juices over and over again that I kind of needed this change a little bit to give me something fresh and new. Like I said, I mean, there's just, there's so many different things here and so many different complex flavorings to it. I, I would actually love to try this in a food form, to be honest. A lot of these sound really good as food forms, like for example, the, uh, uh, which one was it? The pear horchata ginger. That ginger was super fresh in there. The pear worked well with it, which was surprising. I've never had pear and ginger in any form in my life. And now that I've had it in a vape, I'd love to try it in person and see how it actually works out. I mean, just the, the different complexities of, of these flavors is just mind blowing. A lot of these are super different. They may not be for everyone, but the people who are going to like it, I think are going to love it. And I think at the very least, you should at least try it as a palate cleanser, especially if you have vape tongue. These are just so different from anything else. You're not going to get vape tongue off these right away. Maybe eventually, I don't know, I haven't vaped enough to find out, but it definitely helps with vape tongue just because you get that new flavor. And it's not just a new flavor from a vape form, it's a new flavor in general, like I said. I mean, the pear and ginger, I've never had that before. It's a brand new flavor, something that I've never even personally experienced. The only familiar flavor in this, like I said, would be the creamy cuke, which has that kind of tzatziki style um, flavor that you're used to in kind of Greek food. And it works, it works well. Like I said, that's just my opinion on it. I don't know, guys. I mean, a lot of these, I saw the descriptions and I got to be honest, I was pretty, pretty hesitant on them. And they've actually kind of, blown up my expectations a lot more than I expected and having that different taste for me like I said it's just something that's different and something I, I do look forward to so I'm just going to keep talking here for a little bit stall a little bit and uh, try and find the one I was looking for which I think is this one it is and we'll vape it out from there uh, so yeah I'm going to drip some more of this creamy cuke on there like I said it's got that mint flavor in the background but it's super far in that background and it's kind of a nice, refreshing mint, but like a, a food mint, not like a chewing gum mint or eating a mint mint. Anyways, guys, I think I've rambled on long enough. Uh, that's my thoughts. Cloud chicken or cloud kitchen, not cloud, not cloud chicken, cloud kitchen. Uh, here's the card right here. I don't know if you guys can see this with, see it with the glare. It's a different card as well. Kind of cool looking, but there it is, guys. I'll have the info down in the description box as well for you guys to check it out if you are interested in finding out more about these juices or trying them for yourself but there it is guys so there you go cloud kitchen hopefully i did a decent job describing the flavors from it uh, i am curious what that anise is i'll put actually i'll put a list of the description for each of the juices uh in the description down below as well so you can see for yourself and uh that's pretty much it guys so until next time guys as always happy vaping <laughs>